reduce time and effort on assigning thousands of labels, you can assign work packages. They consist of subordinated work packages, which include a number of labels, functions and subfunctions. You can set up a global work package for different engine families or set up local ones in your project. To set up a global work package, you have to log in as an administrator and select a project. In the Edit tab in the Work Packages group, click Work Packages. You can then add a new work package definition by clicking New. Then click Rename to override the default name. You can also delete work packages by clicking Delete. Create at least two layers for each new work package definition by clicking New Work Package. Krita will insert as many folders and subfolders as you execute this command. After renaming them, you can assign functions, subfunctions and labels. Therefore, you click Assign Elements. Automatically, the software selection window is shown to select the desired software version. You can select your desired A2L file, in this case we have the software 1, and then click OK. In this area, you can see the labels that have not been assigned yet, so they are not included in the global work package. In this case, you can assign these labels based on functions, subfunctions or label name to your already defined work package. The Work Packages tab displays the work package structure. Here you have following commands, which enable you to assign labels to work packages. Selected functions assign all labels with the selected function to the work package. Selected subfunctions assigns all labels with the selected subfunction and selected labels assign all selected labels to the selected work package. You can also clear existing assignments of the currently selected labels or import work packages assignments from a file which will be described more in detail later on. You can now select the desired labels or functions and click selected labels or selected functions to assign them to the selected sub-work packages. This area displays already assigned work packages with labels and subordinated work packages. In the type column you can see if a function, subfunction or only a single label is assigned to a work package. The mode column informs you whether it's a local assignment done by the project or in this case a global assignment. When all desired labels and functions are assigned you can click OK. Now the global work package is created. The benefit is that the global work package can be reused globally as a structure with already assigned labels at any desired A2L file or also called software. This means that you can use the work package in multiple projects if the software in different projects have the same labels. After the administrator has created the structure and assigned the labels globally, the Calibration Manager can assign the work packages to the specific projects. Therefore, log in as Calibration Manager and right-click a software and select Assign Work Packages from the shortcut menu. Then you can select the desired global work package and click OK to assign it. You can then also locally assign the labels that have not been assigned yet. In the next step, it is necessary to define the owner of the work package. Therefore, you right-click the software and select Label Responsibles from the shortcut menu. In the left table, you can select a label with the desired work package and then the right grid the corresponding owner and deputy. If you click the button next to Work Packages, the selected user will be the owner of the selected work package from the label or function. If you click the button next to Subwork Packages, the selected user will be the owner of the selected subwork package. Same applies to functions and subfunctions. The benefit is therefore that not every label has to be assigned separately, but with only one assignment all labels are assigned that are contained in the selected work package. You can then import other A2L files to this project and assign users from the previous software version. It's possible that the administrator has to assign new labels which are not in a global work package. This gives the user the possibility to assign many different software versions to one global work package. 
If there are changes in the structure of a global work package, the calibration manager has the possibility to synchronize the structure from the current global definition. This option keeps existing sub-work packages and will add new ones if changes have been applied to the global work package and sub-work packages have been added. The assignment of labels is kept too. Subwork packages, which are deleted from the global work package definition, are still available in the local assignment, provided that a local assignment exists. As calibration manager, you can again assign responsibles to the new labels. Select the label with the desired subwork package and select the user in the right grid. Click the button next to the subwork package and then OK to save your settings. As administrator, you also have the possibility to add the work package admin privilege to a user who can create and maintain the work package structure. Therefore, click Employees and Groups, select a user and click Add Privilege. Then select Work Package Admin and click OK to add the privilege to the selected user. In addition to global work packages, you can also assign local work packages which are set up and maintained by your administrator or predefined privileged user. In this case, I log in as Calibration Manager with the Work Package Admin privilege and create a local work package structure. As Calibration Manager, you can use local work packages in your projects. Therefore, right-click a software version and select Assign Work Packages from the shortcut menu. You can now select the work package definition you want to use. Then you can apply the required settings. You can now select your desired labels and assign them to the local sub-work packages. The Differences tab shows all labels where the list differs from the global list. It is possible that your administrator changes the work package definition during the project's runtime. In this case, the label assignment done by your administrator might differ from yours. You can decide whether to use the setup of your administrator or to use your own assignments. If you select a label that is not part of the global definition and click Apply Selected, these labels are changed according to the global definition. For example, you have assigned a label to the first work package, whereas your administrator assigned it to the second one. With Apply All, all differently assigned labels are assigned according to the global work package definition. If you change settings, it is always recommended to contact your administrator in case of global definitions in order to prevent troubles or discrepancies. There is also a drop-down list with alternative options to those on the Differences tab to assign differences. Copy all from current global definition applies the global work package definition to the work package structure. Local assignments will be lost. Copy all from different global definition applies the global work package definition to the selected work package structure. Local assignments will also be lost. So the benefit is that the differences between the local and global work packages are shown in one view. If the administrator changes labels or functions in global work packages, the user recognizes this immediately in one view and can synchronize the local work package with the global one. There is also the possibility to import a work package from an Excel file. You can also use the wildcard option, whereas a star marks any number of characters. To filter, for example, for every curve, select the appropriate column with curve. Then you can assign label responsibles to the work packages again. To summarize, global work packages are used to assign many different software versions to one global work package, while local work packages are used for a specific project.